Right guys, it's time to go on our ant adventure, or ant venture. So this drive is about two hours, two and a half hours for me. Hopefully it won't take too long, hopefully there's not too much traffic. I'm praying that the weather is gonna be good. We had a lot of hot weather recently, so the ants should be out and about and they should be active. I've brought a lot of equipment with me. Let's get going and let's see what we can find. So guys, before we uh, start our little journey, I just wanted to quickly show you what kind of uh, what stuff I'm taking along with me. One thing is this really rusty spade. Might come in handy for digging out an, a nest or two, perhaps a queen that's been uh, that's dug herself into the ground. So that'll come in. That'll come in handy. I've got a tripod here for my camera, and if I go inside my bag here. I don't know why, but I decided to include this little uh, kind of <clears throat> hygrometer and thermometer just so I can find out what the temperature is. Kind of like pointless because everyone is everyone has got a weather app on their phone and can see what the uh, <laughs> what the temperature is. So as well as this tripod, I've got my Canon, my Canon camera here. It's my 650D. Um, let's pop that down there. We've also got this, uh, which is like a gorilla pod. It's good for like grabbing onto branches, trees, etc. So that might come in handy. And in this container here, I've got a mix of cotton buds, test tubes, containers, etc. Um, just to catch some ants, ants maybe. And then some gloves here, some gardening gloves, some nice thick ones because. Some of the ants around here do pack a punch and a nasty bite. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can find. So the ants will, would have recently been uh, nuptial flying, so there's bound to be some queens in the ground um, which have, would have dug their founding chambers. Um, it could be anything from from a lace from laceus to uh, formica and even some uh, species of Campanotus um, do live in this new forest here. Um, but as I was just packing up my bag, guys, I did notice in this old tree stump here, just there, there's some freshly dug up soil. Um, this could potentially be a a queen which has dug up dug up a new founding chamber. Now I've got a test tube just in case. It's time to get out my old oh, it's time to get out my old rusty <laughs> spade here. So yeah the, the ground's quite loose here. I don't know if this would be the best place for a queen to dig. But we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna find out what this loose soil is. So, if I pull that out, flip over, let's have a look. Uh, uh, nothing, nothing, yeah, the ground's quite dry. This may actually be sawdust. I had it confused with um, it could be chewed up wood from the from here. Um, I had it confused with fresh ground, freshly uh, brought up dirt. But that's basically what we're looking for. Um, I just realised that my rusty spade just bent when I used it there. <laughs> 
This is such a beautiful forest. I um, do wish I could come here more often and I wish it was closer to where I lived. But right now, guys, I'm just looking for any kind of mounds that are raising off the ground, um, which would essentially be formica nests. So, yeah, I'm going to keep looking around and see if I can find one. So, I've had no luck, guys. I've had a walk around this part of the uh, forest and I haven't found anything, unfortunately. Um, you'd usually find kind of formica nests raising out the ground um, in open areas, usually where there's a, um, a patch of uh, sunlight coming through because they usually don't make their nests in the dark um, because they need the warmth from the sun for brood development. Uh, the sad thing is um, that a lot, some nests, obviously, if they're too close to people's homes, uh, they obviously do get someone to relocate the colonies or perhaps even destroy them, which is really upsetting. Um, but I'm going to try my best, have another walk around and see if, what I can find. If not, I'm going to drive to a new location and see if I can find anything there. If you guys are ever out in the woods, uh, especially in Europe, it's always worth checking uh, acorns or any types of uh, nuts or shells because uh, you never know if you'll find a, uh, a small temnophorax colony living inside. Um, it tends to be a bit of a hot spot for them. So it's always worth checking a few in different locations that you go to. You might get lucky, you never know. I'm certainly looking, but obviously I've had no luck yet. <laughs> I did find this little frog here. Tell me if you see him. Can you see the frog? <laughs> it actually looks like a toad. Um, I'm not massive on um, amphibious creatures, but... This little fella, just hopping along. So I think the plan is guys, I'm going to hop back in my car um, and I'm going to take a drive to the location where I filmed my last, last new, uh, my last new forest video and I'm just going to actually see and I'm going to, I'm quite curious, I want to see if those big formica nests are still there. If they are, happy days, if not, I'll be a bit upset, but let's go and see what we can find. So guys, I did decide to move on and I found a patch of the woods which had these massive, well, pine trees or conifers. I don't know what, you would, uh, what you'd refer to them as, but one thing that uh, is quite common with formica ants is that they tend to make their ant nests out of pine needles and out of uh, dried debris. So I thought I'd try my luck here. I um, haven't found anything just yet, so hopefully um, by the end of this trail I can find something and uh, show you guys. Oh. We, uh, I've just found a mated Laceus queen. Oh, and there's a Myrmica rubra, or Myrmica species uh, worker there. I'm gonna grab my, uh, I'm gonna grab a test tube and I'm gonna bag her up. There she goes. Nice little queen there. She looks, um, 
a bit like a Laceus Niger Queen. I'm not 100% if it's uh, Laceus, Laceus Niger Queen, but she's definitely of the Laceus genus. All right, cool. Well, let's um, pop a bit of cotton over the top of this and then pop her in my little container here. Nice little find, that one. Wow. <clears throat> there is some amazing scenery here, uh, guys, but still no luck finding any former commands. Um, so this is kind of what we're looking for here, is these like dried up pine needles. Formica ants tend to gather this stuff and uh, build a huge, huge mound out of it. <laughs> a lot, lot bigger than that. <laughs> but yeah, they'll build it and uh, it protects them. <clears throat> protects them from rain. It kind of acts as a, um, a roof, essentially, for their main nest, um, which will uh, mostly be underground. So they, uh, like all ants, they are great builders. Very, very clever. I did find this um, very beautiful stream here. Hmm, no way to really get across though. Apart from uh, that rope swing. Yeah, maybe not with uh, with the camera on my backpack. Hello, buddy. Hello. 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 <laughs> you're no ant, but you're pretty cool. Okay, guys, so I was just driving around and I have just spotted a very small Formica mound. I've literally been driving around for, for ages now, um, but I think I may have found one. I've just got to take a little walk down this road and uh, yeah, check it out. Grab my trusted kit and uh, hopefully I might find a Formica Queen. Well, you know when you're in Formica country, when you get attacked, when you step out your car. I'll try and get a little close up for you guys. I'm pretty sure, I just want to apologise for the noise of the cars, but I'm pretty sure I saw the mound over here. We'll just go through all this, all this, all this grass just to get to it. But it looks very, very awesome. Not gonna lie. That's probably the best word to describe it. Let's get off the grass here. Otherwise I'm gonna end up getting a tick or two on my on my leg. There it is. Wow. Now because I'm wearing shorts I need to double check my legs so I don't get bitten. That is something else. Wow. Not seeing many formica near it so far. I'm just gonna try and find a way to it without being bitten to death. Yeah, there's loads in there. And there's loads on the floor. Wow, 
That's awesome. The actual ant trail itself threads all the way through here and all the way down there. Let's see if I can get a little close up of, uh, of them without making too many vibrations. So guys, I've set the tripod up like this. I've uh, physically, I've not disturbed the nest at all. I'm just pinned the tripod down. I'm gonna try and get some uh, some close up, some close up macro shots of the uh, the top of the nest there, and maybe there might be a queen sitting on top. We don't know. Let's see what we can find out. So guys, we finally succeeded in finding a, a Formica nest. Sadly, I haven't found any Formica queens. Uh, not yet, but fingers crossed. Um, but I am so happy to find a nest like this. I know it's not the biggest one in the world, but it surely does have an unusual shape. Seems like the ants are uh, starting to investigate my, my tripod here. I might just have to uh, to leave them be. I don't want to disturb them too much. But. So guys, that was a um, a good result. To be honest, um, I really wanted to find a Formica nest and that's what I did. Uh, it was quite lucky because I was literally on the verge of, of giving up and leaving. Um, but I'm so happy I found one of their nests. They're so awesome to look at because they're so clever. These ants use their nests to kind of, I think I mentioned previously, to shelter them from any rain, to keep them warm in the winter. It's essentially like a little hut they've built for themselves. And sadly, that's the only mound that I could actually find. Um, I know I haven't done much <laughs> kind of like me time on the camera. I just kind of wanted to take you guys along with me uh, to this beautiful place. I do recommend this place to, uh, to all you ant keepers out there watching uh, Formica ants forage and take all their food back to the nest is uh, truly a, a truly a sight to behold but sadly guys that is the end of the video uh, I know it might not have fulfilled all of your expectations but coming here trying to find ants it didn't fulfill my expectations as well and that was quite upsetting but I mean at the end of the day ants are are insects and they live by their own rules they put in the nests wherever they want 
Um, I didn't want to go back to the place which I went to in my last New Forest video. I wanted to try and find some new mounds and I'm happy I found the one. And yeah, at least I can take away that. But yeah, this is the end of the video guys. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. I do upload or I try to upload regular anting videos. And obviously if that, uh, if you fancy getting into ant keeping or if you're already an ant keeper, yeah, subscribe and uh, hit like on this, uh, hit the like button on this video and show some support. It's really appreciated. Uh, but if you really like this video, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. Uh, hopefully I'll make a few more videos like this in the future. I do like go getting out into uh, the wilderness and finding some, some cool ants. All right, you guys take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.